What's up Internet Marketer, it's Ike Paws, and today I'm going to show you how I turned 5 bucks into 85 bucks with public domain music. Now don't be fooled by public domain. Uh, this isn't music that I found online. This is a cover that I got done for 5 bucks and it paid back it paid me back many times over actually it still pays me to this day passively okay and the cool thing is this is without any tech skills this is without using any type of paid traffic and this is without doing any type of affiliate marketing okay now if you want more guides tutorials reviews and case studies just like this one make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications about my content and also make this is really important watch this until the very end to get the exact steps I used my full case study okay because this is not what it seems through and through there are some things that you have to learn you have to learn how I failed with this how I failed with this method you're also going to get the actual gig I used okay and like I said uh, just a second ago, you're going to learn about my giant failure. Even though I, I, I didn't lose any money, I got a lot of money back, I still failed in a massive way. So watch this video until the very end. Now, like many of my uh, pieces of content, like many of my products or affiliate um, products that I, I believe in and want to promote, a lot, of them, a lot of this begins with Google uh, trends or Google Keyword Planner or or uh, Keyword Surfer. I want to find out what people are searching for. Now, many, 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 many years ago in 2016, uh, at the time of making this video, it's 2020. I believe it's June 27th. What's today's date? Oh, 28th. Excuse me. It's June 28th, um, 2020. Um, it's those. It's this this piece of constant content. This piece of content is still paying me uh, passively this day, okay? Uh, up to this day, okay? So I used this tool uh, in 2016, and back then, I believe it was called Google Insights, not Google Trends, okay? And I searched for this term, baby shower song. Even though I don't have any musical skills, I can't sing, I can't play any instruments, I just wanted to see what how is the search volume, okay? And you know, things haven't changed much since 2016. Just like back then, there was this trickle of traffic. It wasn't that much. We got low points where people aren't searching at all. We got some searches at 25 a day, 25 searches a day, up to uh, almost 100 a day, okay? I mean, if you scroll down to trending topics, there's nothing to be found. This is, this is just a basic... Uh, three uh, three word keyword search query that gets a little bit of traffic every day okay but I thought maybe I could monetize this somehow okay so actually if you search for if you go to YouTube and search for baby shower song I should be on the first page now this isn't me by the way this is uh, the guy I outsourced to create this content okay so you want to click on this video it's really funny it's only a minute long it's right here I'm not gonna play it here it's about it's about a minute long it's pretty funny and I have this guy singing a rendition of happy birthday but I changed the words around to um, happy baby shower okay as you can see this got me over a hundred and twenty thousand views okay okay in in its lifespan it's still getting me views up to this day okay and but I failed miserably, and I'm gonna explain why. So if I go into my uh, video analytics, this is a lifetime of this video. I uploaded this at 20 in 2016, and right now I, don't, I, don't, I guess it's uh, the analytics are up to June 26, 2020. I only made 85 bucks only, okay, and I spent five bucks. I'm gonna show you the gig created in a little bit, but I missed a huge amount, a big swath of traffic i did not capitalize on okay i didn't i have a link here now okay i'm going to show you this link in a little bit i have a link here now but back then uh, i believe like uh, not not until last week because last week i found I, I found this video doing amazingly well 
but I didn't have a link here going to anything, okay? So I put a link here, like uh, last week. Now this is the link, this is a page that the traffic is now jumping in on, okay? Now there's nothing here, because right now I'm actually developing a baby shower song game for this traffic that I want to sell or give away. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to play this, but right now I'm working on, I'm working on this, okay? to further capitalize on this traffic that I'm still getting to this day. Sure, I made some money. Off of $5, I made $85. But the tragedy here, and this is a real tragedy, guys. All this traffic I missed out on, okay? I could have easily monetized it my own way. So yeah, Google AdSense is great. I'm not complaining. But um, there are better ways to monetize traffic, okay? Now, in 2016, I'm not, you know, I wasn't that much of a marketer. N not like I am now. So I know, I ha actually, I have some good ideas on how to monetize this. And I'm going to in the, uh, very soon. I believe in the next couple of days, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have this up and running. Uh, earning me online or getting me leads. I'm not quite sure. But I have, I have some pretty good ideas, okay? So... So that's so that's my giant failure, and at the same time, a great success. Okay. Now, uh, some some might know, some some know. I'm not sure, but uh, if you didn't know, ha the the Happy Baby Shower songs or the Happy Birthday song recently became public domain. Okay. So you might think this is a very old song, maybe turn of the century song. Of course, it's public domain, but actually. Uh, in September uh, 2015, there was a federal judge who overturned the ruling saying that the birthday song is public domain, okay? So you can use a birthday song, okay? Um, any way you want, okay? And, but the funny thing is, like I said, this happened just recently. I mean, a couple years ago in 2015, okay? So I took, I, I learned about this, uh, about this, about this ruling. And I went to Fiverr back when Fiverr was Fiverr, right? Fiverr uh, used to be a spot, a place online where you can outsource things for five bucks. Fiverr has changed dramatically, okay? Now everyone's charging whatever they want. Now this is the guy right here, right here. This is a guy that I hired back in 2016 to sing me this song, okay? Now he's charging 15 bucks now, okay? Actually, uh, he's, he has a variety of prices here. But back then, in 2016, there was only one choice. There was only five bucks, okay? And like I said, back then, this was this was called Google Insights, I believe, not Google Trends. This was a long time ago, guys. But still, for it's a pretty much a, a very sweet deal. 15 bucks or 25 bucks. And in my example, I made, uh, I made 85 bucks, which is great, okay? Now... What can you do with this traffic? Okay, you have 120,000 views. What can you do with this traffic? You can direct them here. Okay, you can have you can have a QR code game where your different baby shower guests um, they they will maybe pick a QR code out of a hat and they have to scan it, and the person who gets the QR code scan and they get this song playing is the winner that's one idea okay so there's a multitude of things you can do with this another thing you can do is give away a baby shower game here and at the same time have some affiliate offers for that demographic okay so most so most of my demographic in this baby shower niche are women between the ages of 25 and 35 living in the US that's that's the majority of the people who visit this channel okay now I can easily add like what you might call a lateral niche uh, under this video maybe a banner ad to a uh, how to meet men type of affiliate offer right or uh, how to improve your child's reading level or weight loss for women okay there's a multitude of things that you can do you can go to the Clickbank marketplace and find out what are the most popular uh, products for a category okay so all you got to do is search in a category section here 
let's go to the category section let's go to uh, parents okay I imagine a lot of parents uh, in the baby shower niche uh, soon to be parents and if you just click on that it's going to give you the most popular products for that category so we have the reading head start people uh, this is for parents who want to improve their child's reading level uh, relatively quickly okay they have a healthy gravity score this product okay this product has a healthy commission okay this product also has a recurring this means uh, that people who get this product through me I get a monthly commission okay as long as they stay with the program okay uh, so this is a good example of something of a niche or a banner I could use that I can plop or add to this page here so that when my traffic gets here and they pick up the game the free game for example they'll be enticed to click on through to this offer okay that's one thing you could do okay or just sell them just sell them on the baby shower game now one of the cool things I can do with my page builder is I can split test the page I can create an actual a B split test where I can I can test one idea of mine against another and see which one wins and once I have enough data I'm gonna delete the loser and keep the page that's earning me the most money so I just want to let you know how a marketer thinks how a full-time marketer thinks okay uh, you can get a ton of traffic for free even if you don't have any skills whatsoever I can't sing like this gentleman can I urge you to check it out put in baby shower song or happy baby shower click on the video listen to it you might you might have a laugh and let me know what you think okay again don't forget to like and subscribe and see you inside also check out the link below uh, to get more case studies on how I earn online be good and take care